The key returners on the UNI football team this year was a group of players that usually stay out of the spotlight. The members of the offensive line are an experienced group and one that has incredible team chemistry. Here now is a look at a group of guys responsible for protecting their quarterback and opening holes for their running backs on game day. The unit has become a strong fixture of UNI football over the years and this year is no different, having some of the biggest and strongest men Panther football has seen. All five of the listed starters on this team's offensive line weigh in at or above 300 pounds, providing an oversized luxury for the UNI passing and running game. It obviously benefits my game mostly because, and I've heard this a lot, they're so big and it's hard to see me at 5'8", 172 behind them. All of them are just humongous. Kruger has the biggest hands in the world, and so, and he's very strong. Falange, also a strong guy. Misha, very big on the end, and we have a lot. Tim Sauer, just all of them. Just I love all of them. You know, they, they do what they have to do for us and protect our quarterback, and they, that's what really makes our offense thrive is in the O-line down in the trenches. It's, it's literally just a joy in practice when you can go out and you get in a huddle just to go against our one defense, and you can look across and you see Palangi, you see Kruger, you see Tim Sauer, you see Misha, Bingham in, and everybody up, Rummels and everybody else. Two of the Panthers' offensive linemen were named to the Phil Steele preseason All-MVFC team, number 74, Misha Danilov, and number 60, Brian Palangi. But ask anyone from this offensive unit, and they'll tell you it takes all five that are on the field to get the job done. Being like a team within the team, you know, like there's no other position that depends so much on each other and communication and just like there is a lot to do individually but almost every play you know you're double teaming you're talking you're sliding like and we like we have to see the defense together well if one guy is just you know kick and tail and the four other guys are very average the play won't work so five guys have to do it together and so when they live together and they you know go to school together and practice together, they're around each other, there just becomes a brotherhood um, that is really tight-knit. And I think that's what makes good offensive line. The offensive lineman's tight-knit bond has grown through sharing a house together, and they feel it's helped the chemistry of the unit improve from the off-season to the start of the 2012 season. They don't have to say anything and we know it. It's just good though. You just kind of look, at, look into his eyes and it's just like, I know. I know what they're thinking. You know, we have, we have fun. Everyone thinks, you know, we're weird, and, but we just joke around with each other. We have a good time, and, you know, it comes down to, do you have five guys who have to do the same exact thing on a play and know their role? So, you know, it's good to have the brotherhood. I mean, you just know they're going to be there for you. You know, they, you know they're going to give 100% every play. You don't have to worry about them taking plays off. With a few more months of hard practices and long days together, the members of the UNI offensive line know that the memories and friendships that they've developed over the years will continue far beyond their time at UNI. You can trust your family the best, and that's, that's why we have uh, so much belief that we can go out and do um, what we want to do. You know, these guys will be friends for life. You know, I'd probably see them in 20 years and pick up right where you left off anyway. And You know, they're from all over the Midwest or different parts of the country. and might not see them in a while, but they'll be good friends for life. I know. 